Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Wow, I don't have to uh, boost the, the uh, volume of the thunk this morning, do I? That was quite a... <laughs> yeah, well this cup's pretty heavy and it's full. Anyway, we have a rollback. Now this is a warning. It doesn't happen here at the model table. It happens downstairs in the workshop. Now it is model ship related. And uh, for those of you who don't like uh, woodworking and watching somebody uh, rip a two by four through a bandsaw, well, I'll put in the bottom of the screen where you can, <clears throat> excuse me, scrub ahead to get back up here to the model table. But if you do like workshop type stuff, and I think it lasts about, oh, seven minutes, ten minutes, something like that. I forget. I already edited it out last night already. And, uh, yeah, be, remember to bring your ear protection, though. You're going to need it. Let's, let's just sort of roll back and get that over with. Okay, here's what I'm trying to do here this evening. Uh... The table that's going to be in the back room, the model table, uh, I'd like it to be as high as the table in the in the front, the main model table, which, by the way, is uh, right about right here, right there. Uh, just so you know where where you are in the house. Okay, now I got a, a little bit of a problem in that. I have not used my big bandsaw since before the Bismarck, so that's like four years ago. And I have recollection of the last time I used it, I, was, I had a little short piece that I was trying to put through and the ins, little, little plastic insert that goes in the bottom right here, it sort of gave way a little bit and I, and I got a catch. And I think I bent one of the teeth on, the, on this blade because it kind of hammers as, it, as the blade goes through. Uh, that, that's what I recall. So that's why I've got this thing in here and the, the, uh, the plastic insert, it just shattered. <laughs> uh, now I know I could take the plastic insert out of this small bandsaw. Uh, that, you saw me use that the other day. They're, they're the same, same insert actually. But uh, uh, being as I've got the, uh, the problem with the blade, I think I'm best off having something just a little bit more sturdy, even though it might not look as good. <laughs> uh, it's sort of like a zero tolerance insert right now. But uh, uh, you know, if I'm smart, maybe what I should do is take a piece of scrap here and just shove it through and just see how it sounds. Uh, I'll bring you a little closer for that, but uh, when I saw these boards up, oh, the, the reason I want to use the bandsaw is uh, these are the, these are going to go underneath the table, underneath the piece of plywood, sort of like floor joists or sills or whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, so the the uh, those brackets that I bought at the store yesterday, folding legs, uh, they will go mount mount on here then the plywood will go on the top and that should give me a, a table height of uh, almost an inch lower than the table that, that, I, that I've been using for the last four years. So uh, it's sort of what I'm uh, accustomed to. It's a nice height. I don't have to be sort of always, you know, like I'm, you know, trying to do something off a little coffee table or something. Uh, anyway, that's the way, uh, that's the way I like it. I like it up high, you know, keep my back straight, straighter. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, tell you what, I'll put on the macro lens and we'll move right in. Okay, this sort of, uh, test block, it has a lot of knots in it and stuff like that. So it's going to be, you might say, a little bit difficult to saw through. It's not like soft wood. And if there's uh, one of the blades is, or one of the teeth rather, is bent out of line, we're going to know, that is if it's bent too badly for me to actually use anymore, we're going to know pretty quick. Now it's going to get really noisy in here, so put your uh, ear protection on.
Well, obviously it's not as bad as I remember it was. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe I swapped this blade out for the first one. Like this is this is the second blade I've had like this. But I I don't think I did, but I might have. Uh, you know, it's, it's funny. I can remember where it was that I saw The Godfather 51 years ago, but I can't remember four years ago. Did I swap out and put my old blade back on? <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, I, uh, I hope you noticed I did my best to uh, uh, make sure that the model ships were in focus. I'll show you afterwards why it is that I'm cutting these at a bit of a bevel. You can Maybe you can see the line there. It's my hope to try and stay on it. I probably won't, but it's, it's not real important if I don't. Okay, once again, it's going to get noisy in here. Okay, the, the idea of having it, having it bevel is so that when you look at the table from the side, it, the 2x4 doesn't come right to the end and then there's this abrupt end. Um, just, I'm just doing it for looks. Okay, so those of you who want me to come down to the green room, <laughs> Tennessee Gym, we're in the green room. <laughs> And I can smell the sawdust. Mmm, almost as good as pizza. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, we take the tension off our blade and put my reminder around here. That's just to remind me to tension it back up before I use it. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that. In yesterday's episode, I was saying that I wasn't able to find anything in Stefan's book regarding this uh, telescope uh, with, the, with the little handles that we were working on. And I later did find this. And uh, it's, it's kind of like what we're making here, but it's a binocular instead of a monocular. And, uh, but, but it's, it's kind of like, <laughs> you know, it doesn't mean there isn't something else in the book and I just haven't come across it. Or it, it could be the trumpeter just sort of made it up. <laughs> anyway, thought I'd just pass that on. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready to boogie here as the saying goes. I've got my uh, paint thinned out just a little bit with, uh, XF20 or whatever it is, X20, the thinner, and uh, I've got my air brush regulator, uh, compressor regulator set for 10 pounds. And the idea is, what I want to be able to do is just very lightly put put the, the paint on, right? Now, we, we'd been talking yesterday about having something light in behind. I was finding that that was just going to be too cumbersome. It's not going to work. So I think if I was to always have a, a new piece of green masking tape uh, under the piece, like I have right here on this one, <clears throat> I should be able to uh, get in nice and close and very gently pull my trigger back. Okay? And at least that's the plan. Um, well, uh, let, let's give it a whirl and, and see what happens. Okay, got to get this so it's going to be level. I hope I thinned it out enough here. It, it almost looks like uh, it looks like it's a little bit on the thick side. Maybe I should have put more thinner in. Well, now have I forgotten anything? Oh yeah, my gloves. Where are they? Okay, finally. Good thing I can edit out the uh, dead spots. Alright, now here's hoping I've got enough here. And we get our, our fan going.
Okay, that's it. The uh, what look like gun tubs. I'm going to uh, do the 19. You know, I'm I'm just sort of wondering here if, if maybe I've, I've made a mistake on on these ones, and these ones should have also been the 19. Um, well, they're they're the 66 now, so. Okay, I'm just going to clean up here and uh, uh, do a color change, and uh, and then we'll do our uh, our gun tubs over here, or whatever they are. They they're going to be 19 because the the devices that go plug down inside them are the 66. So I want the contrast, right? And I want the gun tubs to to match up with what they're going to be mounted on. So, okay. Bear with me. Okay, what I did was I just did a uh, back flush cleaning or whatever you call it. I didn't disassemble the airbrush. And uh, we are just going to uh, hope that that's going to be okay. And I'm going to leave the air, the regulator set at 10 pounds. Yeah, I shouldn't need too much here. I, I am sort of metering it out and being a little bit more careful than I usually am. Quite often in the past, I've just gone, you know, from at full bore. Well, yeah, that wasn't very smart, I guess. Okay. Get our fan going. Did I forget to get the flashing off of that one? It, it almost looks like it, doesn't it?
and the last one. Okay, we'll get ourselves cleaned up again and uh, not too much I can say here. Now our sunrise this morning was pretty much exactly the way it's been for the last couple of days. Uh, yep, yeah, you would call it nondescript. <laughs> if there was, uh, if there are no clouds, it's uh, pretty hard to do anything with the time lapse because all it does is just get brighter. Uh, anyway, uh, this is what happened this morning. Well, here's the plan. I'm going to cut her off. And I can honestly say that I'm cutting it off before noon. <laughs> yeah, just barely, right? <clears throat> yeah, not very often we cut the episode off this early in the day, but I, I want to work on these things. And I want to get the piece of plywood mounted on here, and I want to get our folding legs mounted on the bottom, and uh, yeah, that's the plan. So thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs>